So, uh, quick correction, Drew Thornton actually did not have $75 million of uh, cocaine strapped on him. He had $15 million of cocaine strapped on him, but he was involved in a deal with $75 million. So he was throwing all these cocaine bags out in the forest of Georgia. This is Drew Thornton, Kentuckian. So the, the Kentucky native was throwing all these um, uh, uh, packs of cocaine out of the Cessna 404 in the forest, uh, the Georgia forest. And um, when he knew that the DA, DEA was hot on this trail, I guess because of some, um, some plane, uh, specialized chase aircraft uh, was after him, he jumped out with $15 million. Here is the Wikipedia post for Andrew C. Thornton um, the second. Andrew C. Thornton Act. Andrew C. Thornton. C. being Carter. Andrew Carter Thornton. Drew Thornton. All right, I'm just going to go Drew Thornton, the second. Drew Thornton, the second. The insane Drew, Drew Thornton. The insane Drew. Crazy Drew. So you have uh, Psycho Drew. The Drew. <laughs> Psycho Drew. Crazy Drew. Anyways, Crazy Drew. Uh, Drew Thornton. Um, uh, Andrew C. Thornton was born 1945, died in 1985. So he's around 40 years old. He was the head member of the company. He called it the company. So he was the head of the company. Uh, it's a drug smuggling ring in Kentucky. The son of Carter and Peggy Thornton of Thieve Main Stud Farm in southern Bourbon County. So uh, Drew Thornton is out of Bourbon County, Kentucky. Drew Thornton grew up living a privileged life in Lexington area, and he attended the private Sayers School with many other Lexington Blue Bloods. He later transferred to... Siwani Military Academy, and he joined the Army as a paratrooper. After quitting the Army, he became a Lexington police officer on the Narcotics Task Force. He then attended the University of Kentucky Law School. During his tenure, he began the smuggling. So, <laughs> while Drew Thornton is going to UK, the same place as the Obama effigy in 2008, while Drew Thornton is going to UK, uh, attending the, their law school, UK's law school, that's when he begins the cocaine smuggling. So, just like um, uh, Huey Newton, who said he went to law school in order to learn how to become a better criminal, Drew Thornton did the exact same thing. Went to UK law, UK law school in order to uh, be a, uh, um, a better criminal. So, Thornton had a criminal conviction for drug possession while he engaged in drug trafficking. On a particular smuggling run from Columbia, having dumped packages of cocaine off near the, Blaine's, the Blairsville, North Georgia. Northern Georgia and the city of Blairsville uh, is where he's dumping all this cocaine at in Blairsville, Georgia. Andrew Thornton jumped from his autopiloted Cessna 404 in the September 11th, 1985 jump. Um, which is, what, 16, 26 years before 9-11 happened, so 9-11-1985. He was caught in his parachute, and he ended up in a free fall to the ground. His dead, his dead body was found in the backyard of a Knoxville, Tennessee resident named Fred Myers. The plane crashed over 60 miles away in Haynesville, North Carolina. So, Drew Thornton jumps out. He falls to his death, and his plane crashes in a whole other state, Haynesville, North Carolina, out of Georgia. So, at death, Drew Thornton was wearing night vision goggles. He had a bulletproof vest on, Gucci loafers, and a green ar army duffel bag carrying, carrying, containing approximately 40 kilos, which is 79 pounds, of cocaine valued at $15 million. So... Uh, uh, let's see, plus $4,500 in cash, knives, and two pistols. Uh, three months later, a dead black bear was found in the Chattahoochee National Forest that had apparently overdosed on the cocaine dropped by Thornton. So, black bears. Uh, Drew Thornton is also killing black bears out of, uh, in Georgia. So, he's also not only a sadistic psychopath uh, who is wiretapping people who don't care about people's liberties, the American people's Bill of Rights, uh, but he's also killing bears. So, he's a bad... Uh, humanitarian, he's a bad environmentalist, just bad, bad human being overall, all around. He's karate and dogs, killing black bears. Okay. Um, again, I want to repeat the, the what he was wearing, okay, because it's going to be, this is the, the headline, right? This is the, the lead. 
So at his death, Drew Thornton was wearing night vision goggles. He got night vision goggles. Man, this man's commando, man. This man is uh, an army man. He's, he's militant. So he's in this, uh, he's a crazy man, but he's in this underwear, or underwear, underground operation. So Drew Thornton, at his death, he was wearing night vision goggles. Uh, goggles, a bulletproof vest, Gucci loafers, a green army duffel bag. So Gucci loafers, like how gangsta is that? Like he's he's got all these pistols and guns and drugs, and he's wearing loafers, Gucci loafers at that. So he's a privileged blue blood. He's an aristocrat. Drew Thornton lived on the upper echelons in Kentucky society, um, and basically it seems like got to do whatever whatever the hell he he wanted to do until uh, the the federal agents close in on him with a um, uh, with a, with a, uh, 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 close, you know, precision. Um, anyways, so, three months later, j dead black bear is found in the Chattahoochee National Forest that apparently overdosed on cocaine dropped by Thornton. The story of Andrew C. Thornton II was examined in Dominic Dunn's Power, Privilege, and Justice and in Sally Denton's The Bluegrass Conspiracy. Robert L. Williams, Cowboy's Caravan, looks into the death of his son, and his skydiving relationship with Drew Thornton. So, uh, uh, Cowboy's Caravan, uh, uh, David Cowboy Williams, according to Sally Denton, uh, could very well have been the snitch, the person who had ratted on Drew Thornton and got the agents chasing him. So they got him chasing him, and he jumps out to his death. And then his father writes a book called Cowboy's Caravan. Uh, and he analyzes into the death of his son in a skydiving relationship with Drew Thornton. It's his father, so I'm sure it's a non-biased book. Andrew Drew Thornton was also detailed in the Discovery Channel double-length episode of the FBI Files named Dangerous Company. So Discovery has a, uh, a, a movie or video of them uh, detailed in the Discovery Channel double-length episode of the FBI Files named Dangerous Company in 2003. Drew Thornton's known associates, you had Harold Brown, who was a DEA agent, probably David Cowboy Williams, uh, according to Sally Denton, uh, which seems to be the only plausible reason for why Cowboy Williams had got killed, since he was involved uh, with Drew Thornton. Bradley F. Bryant, a childhood friend and partner in the company. William Talby Cannon, a former Lexington police officer. Uh, Dan Chandler the son of Kentucky Governor Albert Benjamin Happy Chandler, Sr. Happy Chandler was the same person that said something about, use the N-word, he said something about the niggers in Zimbabwe. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what he said, but he got into a bunch of hot water. Why is a board of trustee, I think, at UK? So more, more racism coming out of, out of Lexington and debauchery. So, James Purdy Lambert, owner of Lexington's Library Lounge, nightclub, and friend and business associate of Governor John Y. Brown, Jr. So, <laughs> the governor, he's a business associate. Library Lounge, nat nightclub, nightclub owner. You had DEA agent, DEA agent, police officers, childhood friends. Henry S. Vance was a staff member of Governor John Y. Brown, Jr.'s uh, staff. So, again, John Y. Brown, Jr., the governor of Kentucky. Uh, our governors, we've had Confederates, and we've had lots of folks. I feel like 11, 12% of Kentuckians vote, so uh, nobody knows what's going on in Kentucky. These politicians do whatever the hell they want to do. These these politicians don't give a shit about us. They don't care about the people. They don't have to. They don't have to. They only got to care about 6% of the people, just their base. Get out the ones who vote all the time, get those people out, and they, they can do whatever the hell they want to do. That's how politics works. We don't have any say-so in our democracy. We only get to choose a representative and then we give them our power. We say take our power and do as, as you please. When all issues should be voted on by the people. I want a pure direct democracy. I'm an idealist um, but coming from no democracy to some democracy I think is a good first step but having that end utopian vision goal, the idealized notion of where you want to go uh, gives, you, gives you that vision to, to uh, which you can pursue and chase and go after. So, Wallace McClure, also known as Mike Kelly, is associate in Lexington. You had David Cowboy Williams, who's a skydiver, good friend, alleged smuggler, died in plane crash two weeks after Thornton. Rebecca Sharp, who is the girlfriend and the confidant of Drew Thornton. 
So Rebecca Sharp, she's uh, she's right there in the middle of it. She also has a trial that she goes to. Uh, Derek W. James, a.k.a. Rex Associate in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He was arrested in December 1982 for selling lookout lists of the federal government. The lookout list consisted of three possible routes from South America to the United States between Mexico and Cuba, between Cuba and Haiti, and between the Dominic Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. So that's where drug runners are coming out of, uh, in their, their Cessnas or in their planes, I guess. I'm not sure how... In a Cessna, did he fly a Cessna without being detected? So between Mexico and Cuba, they're sent to Cuba. Between Cuba and Haiti, so in between Haiti and Cuba, and between the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. So uh, Puerto Puerto Rico is American territory. We got Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, right? So we got a military base there. And Haiti. Uh, I'm not sure what our business in Haiti is. I know that. Uh, they had a, a earthquake, which killed a lot of people. And Pat Robertson said that they deserved it. And Obama was talking about uh, uh, giving Haitians their 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 duly needed uh, food sources so they could live and survive. So the documents at issue were marked unclassified. After a guilty plea, he received a ten-year sentence for selling unclassified information. Derek W. James, that is. He served just under two years. He owned a transport business called Cargo Dominica, and he operated the business from the Hotel Cicero in Rousseau, Dominica. So that's the uh, Wikipedia page on Drew Thornton, the second crazy man, crazy Kentucky man, blue blood out of Lexington, aristocrat, a sadistic psychopath who jumped to his death wearing $15 million worth of cocaine. $15 million worth. Also wearing Gucci loafers and um, <laughs> you know having several pistols, a couple knives. Um, what all he have? He had fifteen million dollars, forty-five thousand dollars, or forty-five hundred dollars in cash, or four thousand forty-five hundred dollars in cash, uh, and seventy-nine pounds, seventy-nine pounds. So as much as a, I guess a small child or uh, maybe an, an older child, um, seventy-nine pounds, forty kilos. He, he had 40 kilos strapped on him, 79 pounds of cocaine valued at $15 million, $4,500 in cash, knives, and two pistols. So Drew Thornton had 79 pounds of, uh, of cocaine, 40 kilos, which is valued at $15 million. Overall, he threw $75 million out in the Georgia forest, uh, which included killing black bears. Uh, published February 8, 1988, which is exactly six years from my birthday out of uh, Covington, St. Elizabeth South. So I'm born, and then six years later, this article is written called Woman to Go on Trial as Smuggler's Helper. Um, oh, yeah, 1985 was when my sister was born. So 1985 is when Drew Thornton plunged to his death on September 11th, which is such an easy date to remember. September 11th, 1985, Drew Thornton jumped out with uh, 40 kilos of cocaine, which is 79 pounds, uh, valued at $15 million, distributing $75 million to the forest of northern Georgia. So the article says, nearly two and a half years after a daredevil cocaine smuggler fell to his death on a driveway here when his parachute failed, a woman accused of being his accomplice is going to trial on drug charges. Uh, Rebecca Sharp. Agents linked the parachutist, Andrew Carter Thornton II, to nearly 300 pounds of Colombian cocaine strewn from a plane across eastern Tennessee and northern Georgia. So some forest in Tennessee. Bags of the drug were tied to his waist. It was an unusual case, said Tony Acri, assistant special agent in the Atlanta office of the Federal Drug Enforcement Agency. So he jumped out, uh, throwing all this cocaine in Tennessee and Georgia and his Cessna 404 crashes in North Carolina. So he's just his death is involving three different states. The fact that Thornton parachuted and carrying the dope, we haven't seen that before. It's an unusual case, says the uh, federal DEA. Two people were indicted on charges of conspiring with Mr. Thornton, one who was once a narcotics officer in Lexington, Kentucky, to import about 880 pounds of cocaine. So overall, he had 880 pounds, and he strapped only 80 pounds to him. One of the two is Rebecca Sharp, a 32-year-old paralegal 
from Lexington, Kentucky, who is free on a 50000 bond. She faces up to 70 years in prison and a $780,000 fine if convicted. The second person accused of being an accomplice is Ruben Soto. So Ruben Soto is a, is a fugitive, according to this 1988 uh, AP, Associated Press, uh, New York Times article. So Drew Thornton had two associates that went to uh, a trial, or alleged associates, Ruben Soto and Rebecca Sharp. So his girlfriend and Ruben Sharp. 